Hey you guys, it's your girl Adriana the Mogul and I'm back with another video. So I know I look crazy and it has been a hot minute. Um, and I'm starting this vlog in a very weird place. I am just finishing up and getting to my hotel on the second day of my four day trip. But I wanted to tap you guys in because this is going to be a really fun and interesting trip actually. So I am in Raleigh and tomorrow... I go to Houston, then Houston to Costa Rica. So I wanted to take this moment to show you guys this room because it is huge and gorgeous. So this is like a whole like foyer situation, right? And then boom, more room. Like it's huge. Lovely, lovely bathroom. Focus for me, baby. Thank you. Like, I don't know where the light is in here but it's just a really nice room guys but anywho that's all mostly this foyer entry area is really nice well, what i really need to figure out i'm gonna go downstairs shortly to meet my crew for let me get some lights on to meet my crew for a little drinky drink um but then after that I need to try to figure out what I'm going to do because I did not pack a swimsuit and I don't know how I didn't pack a swimsuit. I've been waiting for this layover for literally weeks. Um, it's been at the end of my line for the entire month. I've known I had it. So I don't know how this really happened, but I'm going to try to figure that out. So once I figure that out, I'll keep you guys posted. Also, I grabbed Popeyes at the airport, so I'm going to crush that. All right, you guys, so we're about to board here shortly. I am on my way to Liberia. I just found out, unfortunately, I will be laying over by myself. So um, I'm going to have to find something to get into. But I'm going to live my best life in Costa Rica. Um, I'm the only one coming from Dulles. So I got the 20-hour layover. But um, yeah, guys, when we get there, I will show you what's going on in Liberia. Apparently it's in the mountains somewhere. So it's gonna be a kind of a long drive, which is fine. Um, but stay tuned guys. I'm probably gonna get that bathing suit I told you guys about in the airport. Yeah, in the airport. Cause I forgot mine. But yeah, stay tuned. Also, I'm um, sorry I didn't get you guys this morning. I had to get up at four in the morning. So, I wasn't able to record, but now I'm here and we'll be tapped in. All right, you guys. So also I'm your aisle. I'm the aisle, which means that I work in the aisle and I basically help people put their bags away, get them stowed um, with the maximum space available, make sure they're not putting... Um, their coats, jackets, backpacks, and whatnots up in the overhead bins. I make sure that I relay to the gate agents how many bags that can still fit on the aircraft so that they can start checking when it's appropriate. Um, I get people things that they need if they need water at the moment or whatever. Um, during the That's just for boarding. During the flight, I am actually responsible for getting doing the beverage cart. So I'm at the top of the beverage cart, so... Um, I serve drinks, um, alcohol, things of that nature. Um, when we are not serving or doing a beverage service, I'm responsible for answering call bells, getting people um, things that they need throughout the flight, answering questions about their connecting flights, things of that nature. So the aisle is kind of the most interactive position. Um, the aisle is kind of the most interactive position on the flight. You interact with the customers the most. I enjoy this position the most just because I don't really like galley. I don't like being wet, cold, pushing, pulling everything. So this is my fave position. And you don't have to do things when you board. Not much really. Like you can assist where needed, but you don't really have to do a lot of um, prepping or getting ready for much. You just do your pre-flight and kind of just get ready for the people to board. I do the most during boarding rather than anyone else, but pre-boarding, I don't really have to do much. 
Um, yeah, so I actually love this position. And um, I also have to brief exit rows when I'm in this position and make sure that they're aware that they're seated in exit row and that they're willing to help and assist in case of an emergency. So those are the biggest responsibilities that I have in this position. Um, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's a senior position, um, different positions, some people prefer what they prefer, right? Um, the purser is usually goes junior. A lot of people don't like being purser. I used to, but I don't really care for it anymore. They're all really equal work, um, but it just depends on what you like. I like, again, like being with the people and helping and assisting and being in the action. It's kind of like a giant Tetris game trying to fit all their bags in. So that's just what I like, um, but everyone has different preferences. Um, hi, how are you? Good. Um, but we're, like I said a few minutes ago, we're a few minutes from boarding, so I'm going to get off of here, see if anyone needs help with anything, and I will get back with you. if they're willing to wait for me to go to this gift shop and get the bathing suit that I found online. Um, there's a gift shop in the airport. So I'm going to try to run in there. And then a passenger told me about this um, sanctuary next door to um, where I'm staying that has like sloths and other wildlife and animals. And I love sloths. So I'm going to have to see like if I can fit that in. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pack it all into 20 hours, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, but I will catch y'all when we get in the airport so I can show you guys what Liberia Costa Rica airport looks like, okay? Alright, you guys. So, this is the Costa Rica airport. We're going through customs now. Super duper exciting. Look at the fans, guys. It's huge. It's literally so hot in here. It's so humid. Okay, sorry I'm recording so badly. And it's probably really shaky right now. Alright, guys. So now I can actually record. It is so hot out here. But it is literally beautiful. It is amazing. So many people waiting. <laughs> Costa Rica. We are on the way to the hotel. Super excited. But this is what Costa Rica looks like from the airport. Too so it's raining technically right now, but it's like very light.
on the beach. Stop lying. See him? Where? Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, right there. Crocodile. Oh, I see him. It's about 10 oh, foot. my gosh. Yeah, they always say when you pass over here to look. That's the first time I ever saw him. Oh, wow. He, like, blended right into the sand. Yeah. Wow. This is so gorgeous. Like what? O M G. You guys. Like, hold on. OMG. This room is beautiful. Let me check it out first. Make sure there's no scaries in here. Alright you guys, so I'm showered up, dressed, fresh faced. I'm not gonna do any makeup because I'm just gonna sweat it off. But I am about to go and find this swimsuit. I had to get over the awe of this room for a second. Um, but look at the mountains. Like gorgeous. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and head out because I just feel like I don't have enough time at this layover at all. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me and we're gonna see what's outside then i'm gonna come back um probably get something to eat maybe and then hop in the pool for a little bit and then go for dinner so nothing too heavy for lunch then i have some rum and coke in here yep okay i'm gonna try to leave this room in an orderly fashion all right, y'all, I'll pick up in a couple seconds. All right, y'all, so I'm out. I'm feeling a little tipsy. I had the rum, some rum and coke, I got showed y'all. So now I'm about to head outside. So here we go. The adventure begins. It is 3.15. So I wanna be back by, like back and ready for dinner by like 5.45 because the dinner spot opens up at six. So, and she said to be there early. So, let's get into it. <laughs> All right guys, so I just walked down the street a little bit. Here's the shops, there's a gift shop right here. So I'm gonna go in and see if they have some affordable bathing suits. Oh, push. All right y'all, so that gift shop was obviously very expensive. It was $116. And they must think I am boo boo the fool. But she said the last store is a boutique and they have bathing suits that are around $60. That's still really high. <sighs> still very high. And I'm debating if it's that serious. Um, I will see. I will weigh my options. What do you guys think? Go without the bathing suit. Don't get in the water. Don't worry about it or get the $60 bathing suit. I don't know. So here's the store. It's literally called Beach Boutique. There's a rocking chair outside of it. Let's go. Oh crap, guys. So I got a bathing suit, guys. It was $75, but it's super cute and I will wear it again. And we're in Costa Rica, right? Yellow, you only live once. Don't shame me in the comments, okay, guys? Like, it was worth it, right? Right? Right, okay, I thought so too. But I have a bathing suit uh, and I will show you guys what it looks like in the room. 
It's super, super, duper, duper, duper cute. And now it is 3.38. So I shall go swim for an hour and a half. Go take a look around, see what there is to see. Have some drinks at the bar. I really want a snack because I am starving. So I'm gonna see if I can get like a little quick bite. And then, um, yeah guys, I'm so excited. It was $75, that's brutal. But, what am I gonna do, not swim? Shit. Like it's basically like I paid $75 to stay here tonight. Kind of, right? And that's super cheap, so I'm okay. $75 a bathing suit. I guess I'm like talking myself into making it a good decision, and it really wasn't, guys. But really, what was I supposed to do? Okay, I'm done talking about it. Um, but yeah, guys, let's get into some shit. All right, guys, so this is the 24 hour lunchroom. They have snacks. Nachos, burgers, hot dogs, I was told. Ooh, chicken fingers. I don't know quite what that is. Let's see. Ooh. Something. I think there's a chicken finger. Chili. Cheese. Oh, I already showed you guys that. Hot dog. So I think I'm gonna have like chili and cheese on. Ooh, they have little sandwiches. I might do that and stuff. So much to choose. Or just some nachos. Maybe nachos and a hot dog. Let's give it up for solo travel. Let's give it up. All right, y'all, so I'm headed out. This is the top to the swimming suit. Sorry I didn't show you guys the main thing. I have these shorts on, but it's like a high-waisted um, bikini. It's super cute. Super excited about it. But I'm gonna head out to the pool. I didn't really know what to do with my stuff, so I brought, I'm bringing my purse down. Um, yeah, and I had another shot of Coke. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And everybody out there, I just want y'all to know, like, I want to be real with y'all. I did not think I would ever be here. Like, this is honestly beyond my wildest dreams. And the more I think about it, I get super emotional because I've always dreamt of traveling. And I didn't know how I was going to do it unless I had some six-figure job or a rich husband. And I asked my parents. I made this shit happen. No, I didn't make this shit happen. My God made this shit happen. And that's the part that I really want to get on. I am highly blessed and highly favored. And I will say it all the time. I believe I am God's favorite child. Because the things he does and he works and how he works in my life, I cannot have any, I can only say I believe in my God. So that's who I owe this all to. Nothing by my own works. Nothing. But that's my little spiel for today. I'm gonna take a selfie, because why the fuck not? Okay, so now I'm going downstairs. I think this is where he said how I get to the pool. Yes, it is. Let's go. They have a foam fest today. Oh my god! Guys, I'm getting too worked up. I missed it. That's 3 30. Oh, it's going right now. Okay, guys, I have to hurry up.
crazy I just got back from the pool so and I changed out of my bathing suit I'm gonna come back up after dinner and take a shower right before bed but I am sipping on my drink from the bar or I'm sorry a mess as y'all can see but um I'm a woman on a mission I got a lot to do in a short amount of time so I did that um I'm about to go downstairs and try to get in this line for dinner they open up at six and I will show you guys how the dinner is. So far, everything is going really well. Um, I don't know. I think I said this already, but I don't really know about the solo travel. Like, everyone's booed up, working with family and friends. There's really no, like, single ladies. There's not a lot of black people. So I didn't really talk to anybody. I talked to these two girls from Quebec. They were French. We took um, two shots together, or we took a shot together. And uh, that was about it. So, yeah. Um, the bartenders were very fine though, very fine. Alessandro, Nathan, if you ever see this, y'all were fine. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna take this with me and go have a drink. I mean, a meal. <laughs> see y'all. Alright, you guys, so now I'm gonna try to get into the steakhouse. Crystal restaurant. Oh, no, I won't focus. I don't really know what this says. Yeah. Alright, you guys, so I had to walk a good pace from the main building, but I made it. It's probably not. I know I was at the wrong place initially. I think I have to sit and wait here. So I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna go in. Alright, you guys, so my phone is probably going to die. I've been on it all day, but I'm here. This is the setup. It's me and myself only. All right, you guys, so I meant to vlog this morning, like me getting ready, um, but I kind of was in a rush because I was trying to um, make it to breakfast. So I did not, yes, that was me about to fall off the escalator. I did not make it to, I didn't have time to, um, get on here with you guys um but i wore my jacket and today because i've been wearing my dress for the last three days um and that's pretty gross so i am um just arriving well, not just i've been walking for like 15 minutes um but i'm in houston um and i'm about to get to my connecting flight to Tampa um but when I get on the plane if I get there early I will definitely talk with you guys and tell you how it went 
Where's KCM? Excuse me. Yes. KCM is in that door. See, si, okay. Thank you. Um, but yeah, once I get in and get situated, I will tell you guys my full review. You know, I'm not even going to promise you that because it might not happen until I get home home. But we shall see. But I got to go through here. So hopefully I don't get ran over. All right, oh, so this is the second leg of the day. We are headed to Tampa. Say hello to my fellow person. Yeah, she's lit. Um, but I'm ready for this day to be over, this trip to be over. I haven't seen my house in over two weeks because I came straight from my mother's house for Thanksgiving. So I've been gone for literally a minute. So I'm ready to be home. Then I gotta go pick up my cats from my mom's house because that's where I left them over Thanksgiving. So um, I am off for the next 13 days after this trip is over. So I'm gonna take some well-deserved R&R and then go back home and then probably pick up a trip or two because I need those coins. So um, I'm gonna get off of here guys and I'll probably just talk to y'all when I get home and tell y'all how this whole trip went and how my layover in Costa Rica was and I'll catch y'all back at home. All right, y'all. I look crazy. Like y'all can actually see like the extent of how tore down I look at the moment. But I just made it in the house. It is ten sixteen. Um, but I am exhausted. Like that's not even the word. I'm about to be under the bed. So I am gonna go ahead and take it in and get cleaned up and changed up and pass out. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I might recap it. I will recap it tomorrow morning because I promise you guys a recap. Um, but I gotta go. All right, y'all. This is getting embarrassing, like how I look. But when I tell y'all, I couldn't give a, a, a fr flying f about how I look right now. I really can't. Um, I'm sick. <laughs> like I'm real sick. Uh. My throat was hurting on my last leg of my last flight. I kept coughing and nothing would make it go away. And then I got home and it was really hurting. And then this morning I woke up and it's just like on fire. So um, that is one thing about this job that you need to know. You will get sick probably multiple times a year. Um, so you really need to make sure you take care of your health. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have got sick if I wasn't working so much. I think my immune system was probably compromised by how, like, exhausted I was. Because, you know, rice, like, boosts your immune system. So, um, I just went to CVS and to Panera. I got me a sandwich and a soup and a smoothie from Panera. And then I got Kleenex, Dayquil, NyQuil, um, some Halls, and some tea to get me through these few couple of days. Because I really don't feel like being miserable. And then I'm gonna try to cook something in a little bit if I feel up to it so I can have while I'm kind of sick. Um, but yeah, guys, that is what's going on right now. If I feel up to it, I will come and tell you guys about how the trip went. I know I keep saying that, and I know I keep dragging it on, but I really wanna give you guys full details and really explain to you guys how I felt about it. And um, I just know I can't give you guys that full undivided attention right now. So, um, I'm going to get off of here and, um, see if I feel better in a little bit, okay? All right, y'all. So, I know this is a insane turn of events, and I know I look crazy, but, um, I am sick, like, down for the count. I got home on the first. I've been bedridden, stuck in my room for three days now. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's COVID. I haven't gone to the doctor because I'm off for 12 days, so I just figured I'll get over it, take my little meds, my day quill, my night quill, eat, hydrate, and just stay in the room. So I'm not really pressed on going to the doctor. Um, yes, I have insurance. I'm just too lazy to go. But um, I figured I'd just go ahead and tap in and tell you guys how Costa Rica went because I... Uh, want to go ahead and get this video edited while I'm out and down and can't really do much so um 
I got into Costa Rica probably about 1 o'clock. Um, it was about a 45-minute-ish drive to the hotel room. So, I mean, honestly, it really wasn't bad because it was scenic. Um, the Paris layover has a really long drive as well. But it's not a scenic. It's more just traffic. So, I enjoyed the um, drive to the hotel to Costa Rica. I believe I included some clips in the video. Unfortunately, I missed some really good ones. Like, they had a couple of, like, uh, lots that had, like, different airplanes on it that the pilots pointed out to me. And then the one scene that I really wanted to catch, which I didn't, was, like, this white horse. It was all white. Like, it was, like, an angel, honestly. Like, it came out from the bushes. Like, it was a tree-lined road. And then this white horse just, like, popped out, like, out of nowhere, just out of the bushes and it was gorgeous and we the whole crew thought it was fake at first until it like moved and we were like oh my gosh but it was beautiful and unfortunately I wasn't recording at that moment like I said it was a 45 minute drive so I couldn't record the whole drive but um so you get to the hotel it's a really long check-in just because they have so much information to share with you because it is an all-inclusive stay so they have to tell you like what dinner is what your room is like how to get to the internet how to do all this that and the third so that was kind of lengthy i didn't enjoy that but by the time i got to my room it was probably closer to three o'clock um but i will say one negative thing about the room was it did like have like a mildewy smell so it was clean but it just that smell really threw me off um and it was odd because there was no there's like no carpet it's all tile but i think it's because the jets in the tub if you don't clean those out it can cause that smell so i really think that's what was causing that smell hope you guys aren't getting too much of a kick out of this this is the only way i figured to not use like all my toilet tissue in the house so that's what I have to do. But um, the view was amazing. Um, everything was really nice. I just wish I had a little bit longer there so I could have gone to the animal rescue that was nearby. Um, I really wanted to see a sloth. Um, apparently in Costa Rica, a sloth is called a koala and a koala is called a parasoso. So if anybody speaks Spanish and you know what a parasoso is, a parasoso. The food was not like amazing, but also <clears throat> it's all inclusive. So I'm sure they have to keep costs low by not really having the most excellent food. Um, and then also, I would recommend drinking the alcohol from your um, room, like the liquor on tap, rather than the liquor from the bar, because I feel like the liquor from the bar is like cut or something, because it definitely wasn't that strong. I had two drinks back to back, and I felt fine. So, I don't know what's up with that, um, but yeah. Oh, outside of that, guys, it was a wonderful layover. I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, the four days, the four day trip, honestly, it wasn't that bad either. Had I not gotten sick on the last day, I probably would have been able to enjoy the last day a lot better, and definitely would have been able to push through that. I would do it again overall. I think so, but I would just choose to do other things, like I said, like go to see the animals rather than spend my day at the resort so that's my two cents on it i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry i look how i look and i will try to be more consistent i say that every time but this job really takes it out of you but yeah guys